scraps between the two of them, and a good performance by Not Joel today may make a solid case, pun intended. Mm -hmm. But both players, DCG sponsored. Starting off this game strong. Key getting him off with the forward tilt. Trying to space him out, and there's the up be out of shield. You gotta be a bit, you have to be aware of that move, because that move is very fast and it kills extremely early. It does, and just oh. the hitbox, it hits very horizontally as well, even with just an outstretched skinny leg. Yeah, the snake's damage output's insane. Oh, catching him on that bomb drop, and actually not Joel missing out on the second one. A little unfortunate for him. Oh no, actually getting hit by that bomb right there. C4 almost catching him, but picks the right ledge option to avoid it. Mm -hmm. Wanted to go for the trump there, but... Yeah, but he caught him on the with the fair on the glider. Second one hitting him. Up smash has to be aware of that and the grenade seconds inches oh, no. away. <laughs> Got hit with a double grenade, eating up a quick 20%. Crawling forward, that may be very useful to just get around some of Link's arrows and boomerangs. Mm -hmm. Oh, missed out on that dash attack and got hit with the back hit of the of the up B, but it was it looked like it was a sour spot because that should that would normally kill a man. Yeah, it would. Snake is fairly heavy, so it's not an entire surprise that he lived that long, but that would certainly kill other characters. Mm. Ooh. Shooting him right in the face with the arrow, but he nearly laughing him. Oh, there's the one hell of a forward smash. The up tilt finally getting that first stock for Not Joel. 105% taken in the up smash. That just excellent setup from Keith, putting him out of trouble. Yeah, up tilt very fast. Gotta be aware that you cannot be, you know, three feet away from Snake or else he will hit you with that and every time. Threw out the boomerang too early, and that's just something you can't do within this particular matchup as not Joel. He has so many options to hurt you both up close and at a distance. Oh no, he teched it, but now he's got to, he ate like about 30% off just pure projectiles, trying to get him with a forward smash. He finding his way through, but he has so much damage. They're, like he could get tickled and he'll die. Oh, good night. <laughs> that was unnecessary. He he could have just closed it out with like an up tilt, but no, he said, no, I'm, I'm hitting you with the forward smash. I want this rocket launcher. I want to, I don't want to just kill you. I want to hurt you. I want to make you feel something going into game two. Yeah, and uh, not Joel opting to counter pick immediately to uh, Kalos. Yeah, obviously won't be changing his character, not Joel. I think a Link loyalist at this point. Yeah, definitely a Link Loyalist. For Key, the game plan has to remain largely the same. Uh, we'll have those side platforms, so maybe dropping grenades to eliminate an option might be just the slightest bit of difference he wants to go for in advantage state, but I don't see too many differences in the way he wants to approach neutral. No, I, Snake's... One of the problems that I have with this stage list is like Snake has no bad stage. <laughs> no, he really doesn't. Like, Snake, Snake's stages are, uh, he's pretty good nearly everywhere. Maybe his worst one might even be, might be town? I don't really know. Oh, caught him. Trying to, uh, not Joel trying to get aggressive. But there's the up smash, getting him off yet again. Not Joel stuck in this position where he's just behind. And now Snake's ahead in percent, and this is the this is a bit the biggest problem you'll have. Yeah, matches the jump with the back air, and Keith absolutely flying through this. As you said, Snake doesn't have good and bad stages. He has good stages and very good stages. He's going to have to put on a Ooh, bit of pressure. Oh, went for the dare. He, I mean, the fair. He almost cheesed out that stock that very quick. Yeah, that swinging leg almost doing the trick, but gets the sour spot. And that could have been two stocks gone. No, did he sticky him? No, that's on the floor right there. Yeah, the C4 is on the floor. Ooh, kind of, he's got to respect the boomerang coming back and actually does. Still rocking all this damage, not Joel. Good parry. Can't really find a way to close out the stock. And when you're behind against Snake, it, it, it feels like it's just a mountain to climb. Like you, even if you hit him, he will just have a grenade in hand and force a trade. Yeah, absolutely. Snake's neutral game already somewhat relies on trades, and those trades are just sending both of you closer, but when you're closer 
to death and your opponent is, it just feels like there's a slow train oh. to death. Almost taking that stock. And uh, there goes the up B actually hitting uh, not Joel. Not Joel still not killing him at 130. Yeah, even the up tilt won't do with the forward throw. We'll get him back off stage where Key has been for the past 15 seconds. Ooh. Uh, the second hit of Fair going to connect that time. And uh, not Joel still basically a stock behind. Uh, if he gets hit by basically anything. Key not afraid to play very passive. Yeah, bomb in hand. Good timing for Key to get the shield when he was traveling. Oh, there's the a the forward tilt. F tilt will seal it out. Key, a stock ahead. Nair's coming in. There's a fair. All this damage coming in from Key. Oh, there's a trade, as I said before. But Nodule coming in on top. Once you have, if you are getting hit by moves like a grenade, um, if you have less percent, you have to be aware that you have frame advantage over your opponent and that you act first. Wanted so you can hit him. Oh, there's the, the first upbeat. time, but the hero spin already in the air and connects every hit, seals him off stage. And before things get, you know, too one sided, Nachol's already back into this game. Mm, yeah, he still is, but he's still got a mountain to climb because he's he still has to deal with getting in. Certainly. Yeah, you could you could throw projectiles all you want, but it usually, if you're in the campy game, Snake can't like is usually winning. He is, and that's not to say he isn't still trailing because he is. But this is very doable at this point. But he needs to find a way in. Oh, he found his way in. Oh no, that was nearly negative. So unfortunate. He got the initial hit of the dare, which sent him straight down. I think he wanted the later hit, which would have popped him back up but sent him right back into the stage in position for the up tilt. Yeah. Oh, there's the Nair. That's training. He does not want that to happen. Boomerang. Oh, but this is where he wants to be. Now the game's basically even, but there's the fourth throw. Nikita, how is he going to catch his um, recovery? Nice tech coming in from Key, and there's the up smash. That's going to be it. The beginning hit of the up smash. Key, a bit scary there at the end, already putting himself above 100%, but manages to clutch it out with the up smash. And in the end, you know, the better projectile user wins. Mm-hmm. Well, like, uh, I know for a fact, like, I'm pretty sure snakes usually hate that matchup because once you're, it, it's mainly a, a matter of who takes the first stock. Mm -hmm. Whoever takes the first